Um, today I want to show the story of how I graduated debt-free from college without having to take out any student loans. Um, my name is Abby Hickman. Um, I'm a full-time graphic designer. I'm 23. I just graduated last May and I've been working um, full-time for close to a year now and I'm really excited just to share this story with you and hopefully bring some hope to any people in high school or in college looking to also graduate debt-free. For me, I wanted to attend Liberty University. That was like my top choice of a college. I am a creative, a graphic designer. I thought about going to um, art school for a really long time, but it was really, really expensive and art school doesn't really offer um, a ton of scholarships, typically as far as like getting it paid for. Um, but liberal arts schools and Liberty specifically offer um, merit-based scholarships. So if you do well on tests or you have good grades, you can get scholarships at those kinds of schools. Whereas art school is a little bit less of that. And my biggest goal was to go to college without having to pay for it. Um, so I was like, I'm not going to go to art, art school because to me it wasn't worth it. I was like, I could trust my own talent and my own ability to draw, paint, think visually, um, and when I got into digital design, um, trusting my ability to learn via YouTube or trial and error or asking my classmates, like, how do you use this or whatever, um, that I could go to a liberal arts school and still excel. So that was my plan was that I wanted to go to school without having to pay for it. And Liberty was my top choice. I was also looking at Taylor University, which is a smaller school in Indiana, which is where I'm from. And then... Also, uh, University of Indianapolis, which has a great program for um, what I was interested in pursuing um, for my degree. So those were kind of my top three, but Liberty was my dream school. It was out of state. It's a really big Christian university in Central Virginia. And I was like, if I could go here like without paying for it, that would be my dream. So I did some digging. Um, and first of all, I looked at their uh, merit-based scholarships because I believed that that was something that I could pursue. Um, now, believe it or not, they don't just hand out money, even if you're smart. Like, they do sometimes, but for, like, a full tuition, like, not having to pay for school, um, there's certain things that they award those to. And one of those was the PSAT and the National Merit Ranking. So if you don't know much about scholarships. Um, some schools don't do this, but Liberty awards um, full tuition. And then I think they do full tuition and like room and board for national merit finalists, which is if you're the top of the top of PSAT scores. Um, I was not that, I was the national merit commende. But what was really cool for me is that I knew that that was a scholarship when I was in 10th grade before I took the PSAT. So when I was in 10th grade, I was like, I wanna go to this school, maybe, I wasn't sure. Um, but I knew that they had a scholarship for the PSAT. So before I took the test in 10th grade, I went into it like very seriously, having practiced um, the test like questions and taking it. Um, really to heart because I was like if I do super well on this test like I might not have to pay for college and I might that I will really thank myself so I did well on the test I did not um get the like top of the top like full tuition room and board like that kind of score um but I did get into the national merit commended cohort which getting that news um when I was a junior in high school was really big for me and I uh, began to study really hard for the SAT um, because for Liberty to be awarded the scholarship for National Com National Merit Commended you have to join the honors program and if you're attending like a different school and they have some kind of National Merit um, scholarship they will also have like specific things you have to do to earn the scholarship um, whether it's joining the honors program whether it's being in a certain uh, field of study maybe um, there are little boxes that you have to check um, to be awarded that scholarship so for me I was like I have to get into the honors program and to get into the honors program I did my research and figured out I had to get a certain score on the SAT it's like great I don't have the scholarship in the bag yet I have to study really hard for the SAT 
I studied for the SAT um, like it was my full-time job. My parents were like, this is the highest paying job you could ever have in high school. You will study for this test. My parents were really adamant about me studying for the test. Um, I used a platform called Prep Scholar, which I highly recommend if you don't know where to start studying. Um, and you do have to pay for it, but if you think about the scholarships that you're looking at that require really high scores for the SAT, you will reap the cash back from paying it down for Prep Scholar if you do really well on the exam. And the cool thing about Prep Scholar is it teaches you how to like hack the test in a way of like knowing how they ask the questions and knowing what kinds of answers typically follow those formatted questions. So it's less about like general knowledge and more about how the SAT approaches asking questions, which I thought was super interesting. And like, I'm an investigator thinker. So I was like, oh, that's so cool. Um, so yeah, like studying on uh, Prep Scholar was like my thing for a long time. I took the SAT three different times. Um, the first time I got a good score, um, but it wasn't what I needed for the scholarship. So I was like, I'm gonna take it again. And I took it again, and that wasn't what I needed for the scholarship. And I was like, just praying. I was like, God, please like help me get this score that I need. Like I've worked so hard and prepared like for this test, for this scholarship, like I need to do well. So the last time I took the SAT, I was probably gonna take it again if I didn't get the score I needed on the third one. But I took it for a third time, third time the charm, got the score I needed, um, it was super high. And once I got the score, I was like, okay, now I'm gonna apply to the honors program. So I got the PSAT score I needed, I got the SAT score I needed, now I have to get into the honors program. And I was really nervous about that because I'm an artist, so I was like, I don't know if they accept creative types into the honors program. Like, I know that they'll have, like, sciencey people and, like, I don't know, like, government people. But, like, I'm an artist. Like, are they going to accept me? So I put hours into my essay. I put a lot of time into my application. We, like, didn't even handwrite the, the form they had to mail in. We, like, printed the form, scanned it into... <laughs> back into the computer but then we like typed over it like instead of writing name we like typed over it my name so all the form was filled out with like typed in information instead of like handwritten information um it had my test scores it had my gpa it had all my transfer credits because i transferred a couple credits from high school that i took that were dual credit and submitted my honors program application and then in november of my senior year i received that um, decision back that I had been awarded acceptance into the program and the scholarship I worked really hard to get and just just to like clarify the other schools that I was applying to I also applied to full tuition scholarships there um, but one of them I think that they awarded me like 70% of tuition from it based on like merit scores and then the other one I don't I think it was like less than 30% of tuition they were gonna pay for. And I was like, mm. once I got all of like results from those applications, Liberty, which was my top choice, was actually the cheapest option where I wasn't gonna have to pay tuition at all. I was only gonna have to pay housing and room and board and then any other fees like books, health fees, student activities fee. Liberty has a lot of fees, um, which I'm sure you're familiar with if you've been in college. There's just fees. They just throw fees at you. So my first year I had tuition covered and had to pay all the fees, but I started working my freshman year on campus as a graphic designer, which was literally a gift because I didn't have any formal experience in graphic design. I was just like an artist and I had some photography experience and I was like, hire me. And they did, which was really cool because I ended up working that job all the way through, which helped pay for housing and some of those costs early on. But it was not going to be enough to cover like housing and room and board for like the four years that I had my scholarship to be there for. So um, my sophomore year, I applied to be an RA on campus and loved my RA experience. It was so worth it, um, not just for the scholarship, but just the experience as a whole. I feel like I feel like it was almost my initiation into 
like being a young adult like I was in charge of other people there was a lot I learned and grew in as an RA um but yeah once I got the RA scholarship I was set as far as school and that's how that's all the scholarships and things that paid for it like my job uh working as an RA and then remaining in the honors program all four years so that um took some dedication to complete those courses and requirements and at the end of college I had to complete a thesis which was basically like a master's thesis but like dumbed down for like undergraduate and you had to conduct your own research or original work for a 25 page paper but by the time I was a senior and had to do that I had been reaping the rewards of the scholarship for four years and it was totally worth it to write the paper then because I didn't feel like, oh, I have all this to do. Um, and total, the process of getting college completely paid for took um, seven years probably because I started it when I was in 10th grade and then finished it when I was a senior in college. So it's one of my biggest, like biggest like things that I've done and I think it's like something that not a lot of people get to do is graduate debt free from a college that they really wanted to go to. Um, so I just want to say it is worth it if you, or it is possible too. Like if you don't think that it is possible, maybe you just don't know like the scholarships that your school has, um, or if there's a way to kind of like work around the system. So I have a couple friends at Liberty that, um, somehow started working full-time at the university while they were finishing undergrad so they just transferred online worked full-time at the university from like their sophomore and junior year and then the rest of their school was paid for because they were full-time employees at the university which that is just another really cool way to get it done i had the student experience for that amount of time yeah i hope that um my story has been just helpful and encouraging to you guys um just to see how it all shook out with different scholarships and opportunities and I would encourage you to research um, different opportunities that you could apply for and don't roll yourself, roll yourself out beforehand. Let them take your application, let them think about you. Like, you don't know if you're an artist, you could be accepted into the honors program. Just let them decide, uh, but don't eliminate yourself before they do. Anyway, that's all for now. Bye.